Alrighty, now well, folks, Donnie D here, out here with my uh, a new gun, or the newest gun that I have. By the way, it's safe, I just shot all the ammo out of it, empty mag. Um, this is my newest gun, I've had it, uh, I'm going to say about three, maybe four weeks. Normally I don't wear caps or hats, I don't particularly like them, but boy the sun is bright so it's kind of helping my eyes. Um, but anyway, I've had it about three or four weeks. It's a, uh, a Taurus TX-22 Competition <laughs> SCR. Now, that's a long name, quite a name, but it's quite a gun. I really like this thing. Um, is it perfect? No, not by any means. Because like, I won't say all and I won't say most, but I will say like a lot of um, 22 semi-automatic handguns, it's kind of picky with ammo somewhat, but um, I find one ammo that uh, runs in it really good. Uh, like you just saw me, I just shot uh, full mag, 16 round mag, uh, with no failures at all. I put this uh, Vortex Venom uh, red dot sight on it. I had it on another gun. I swapped it to this one. I bought something else for that gun. We'll talk about that another time. But just let me show you a little bit about the gun. Uh, it does not come with the optics, but it does come optics ready. Um, it comes with three 16 round magazines. I thought it one time, when I first read about it, I thought I read somewhere where it was two 10 rounds and one 16, but no, it's uh, three 16 round magazines. Um, uh, it has a, uh, <laughs> it has an ambidextrous safety. Uh, here's your, uh, your magazine release. Oh, rather your magazine release down here, your slide release up here. Uh, this is a Tandem Cross uh, Pro uh, Compensator. Um, whether it helps on a 22 or not, I don't know. Uh, the weight of it, if nothing else, it has a little bit of weight for it, so if, if, if nothing else, that will do it. But I think it probably knocks what little bit of uh, flip up you have with a 22. But um, even if it doesn't help, it sure looks cool. And uh, there's something to be said for that. It's got kind of a, the trigger is, is nice, but uh, it's got a little bit of take up before you actually you get to your brake. Uh, this is actually, this is not really the trigger. The trigger is actually up behind this piece. This is sort of like, uh, uh, I guess a Savage's uh, AccuTrigger, I believe is what they call it. It's just a different way of doing it, I guess. But I'll tell you what, one thing I like about this gun, other than being extremely accurate, which all my guns are accurate. When I miss, it's not the gun, it's me. But one thing I really like about it is the grip. The texturing on this grip is perfect for me, but I really like this palm swell back here that uh, Taurus has on a lot of their guns. I mean, that thing just makes it feel so doggone good. Um, now, about the ammo, the ammo that, believe it or not, this gun uh, found that it likes so far, um, and uh, most of my semi-auto handguns, I find that they function better with a high-velocity uh, ammo. That is uh, 40 grain, 36 to 40 grain minimum, and a 1200 to 12 or above uh, muzzle velocity. This one shoots it, some of it okay, but what it really likes is the uh, CCI standard velocity 40 grain 1070. I would have thought it wouldn't even function with that, but that's what it likes. But anyway, I just want to give you a quick look. You'll see more about uh, this gun and some of my other guns come uh, Saturday because uh, Thanks to uh, a member of NCGO, um, uh, Larry229, um, we used to have this thing called Guns and Geezers that we do a couple of times a year, but it kind of stopped and people just, we just haven't had one in a good while. Thanks to Larry229, he's trying to kind of get something similar to that going again. And we've had about four or five meetups. I think I've been to three or four of them. We've had two of them down here. Uh, but we're going to go to his place come Saturday, and we've got about, I don't know, maybe a half a dozen folks are supposed to show up. And hopefully we'll be able to have some kind of a thing, uh, some type of a NCGO get-together occasionally. So thanks to Larry229, <clears throat> that's what we're going to uh, do again come Saturday, weather permitting and creek don't rise. But anyway, right now I'm just going to 
shoot some more. I'm gonna cut the camera off so I don't bore you to death. I'm gonna shoot some more. And um, for Donnie D and his uh, Taurus TX22 Competition SCR, love this gun, man. I love it. It's so much fun to shoot. This is Donnie D, and I'll see you later. And we'll be making a video on the uh, meetup Saturday too. That'll be upcoming. But anyway, Donnie D, and I'll see you later. Bye.